salute to all my real ones out there. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, man. And I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful, glorious day. With that being said, we're going to get into some boxing talk, man. And um, I recently heard some stuff come out of my guy, uh, Jamel, Mar uh, Jamel Charlo's mouth. And I'm really kind of not rocking with it, bro, to be honest with you. And I feel like lately, the statements that Jamel Charlo is making, bro, he's taking L's with the certain with certain things that he's going out there and saying like a few days ago or about a week ago talking about it's hard it's been hard for him to make 68 and he feels like Canelo's the bigger fighter and this and that when we're a few weeks away from the fight bro then recently he um made a statement about Terence Crawford going on to say that uh I have a fight coming up against Canelo Alvarez Terence Crawford should get in there and fight someone. Uh, pretty, and then suggested that he should fight Boots Ennis, basically. Uh, and then go, went on to say, uh, leave us alone. Whatever that us meant, bro, honestly. Uh, uh, Jermel, you already know, man, that um, your boy uh, Errol Spence, he activated the rematch clause, right? So you already know Terence Crawford is going to rematch... Errol Spence at 54. Most likely that is what, what is about to happen next for Crawford. So what it sounds like to me is you're suggesting that after the rematch, he should probably fight Boots Ennis. And what that looks like to me is uh, you're trying to um, create a path for this dude, uh, you know, that doesn't involve you. So some way, somehow you could avoid fighting this man, bro. And it, 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 it's just not a good look. And when you went on to say, leave us alone, like, what does us mean, bro? Because a lot of people are, are going to take it like you're talking about you and Spence. Honestly, you should have just went ahead and said, leave me alone. You should have said, leave me alone. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want any part of it, bro. Just stay out of my way. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight you, bro. Because we all know like a year ago, anyone, anytime that somebody would bring up Crawford, you would talk about who has he fought and what has he done, and you would you, and you would say that you're busy. And now that he went in there and beat Errol Spence, bro, and there is a possibility of him fighting you and he's calling you out, bro, it seems like, you know, it just seems like corny as hell, bro, like you're telling this man to leave you alone. You should want to get in there and avenge your boy's loss, bro, honestly. Honestly, and you have an opportunity to be the greatest fighter in the world. Now, hear me out. Imagine if Jamel Charlo goes in there and beats Canelo Alvarez. And what he does next is fight a Terrence Bud Crawford. Goes in there and beats Terrence Crawford. There is no doubt about it that this man will be the greatest fighter on the face of this planet. And I'm pretty sure that nobody would disagree with me, bro. Nobody would disagree with me. But these statements that you're putting out lately, your fight is a couple of weeks away, G. Couple of weeks away. You're talking about how hard it is for you to make 168 and how Canelo's the naturally bigger dude. That just doesn't sound right, bro. And then after that, you're double backing and talking about, bro, Terrence Crawford, leave us alone, bro. Go and fight someone else. Go and fight Boots and it's Just do whatever you do. Just please don't call me out. I don't want no part of it. I don't want to fight you, bro. Maybe you should have just went and said it just like that, bro. And people would have probably... Uh, respected it a little bit more, man, because it sounds outrageous to me, bro, and it's not a good look, man, and I feel like Jermel Charlo has been through a lot of adversity, he's had some good, uh, uh, been in there with some top guys, he's had some good wins, bro, and I feel like he's one of the best in the sport, but man, statements like this kind of throws me off, man, and you should really, really think about what you're saying before you say it, because honestly, it's not a good look, honestly, it feels like you're punking out, bro, backing out, bro, and pretty much saying, please, Mr. Crawford, leave me alone. My thoughts, my opinions, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, if you guys are rocking with this content, please like, sub to the channel if you're not sub, bro. We're trying to grow out here. Peace and blessings to all of you. We out of here until the next video. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. Peace.